The latest death row inmate in Oklahoma granted a competency hearing uh, less than a month from his execution. And the court now scheduling a hearing to decide whether James Ryder is mentally competent. KOCO's Cameron Seibert, he joins us with the mor this morning with those details. Yeah, good morning. James Ryder was originally scheduled to be executed on February 1st, but now that date has been pushed back by at least 100 days. His attorneys will now meet with a judge and try to prove that he is not mentally competent enough to be executed. Ryder was sentenced to death for the 1999 murders of a mother and son in Pittsburgh County. That was over a property dispute. Several psychologists have now diagnosed him with paranoid schizophrenia and have concluded that he's not competent competent for his execution. Under Oklahoma law, an inmate is mentally incompetent if they cannot understand the reason they're being executed and that the execution is imminent. Two years ago, attorneys for Benjamin Cole made a similar argument before his execution. Physically observable brain damage, a large 15 millimeter lesion in his brain that runs 11 millimeters, genuine mental illness, decades of evidence, of bizarre, mentally ill behavior. In the end, two years ago, Benjamin Cole was still executed. As for Ryder, Attorney General Gentner Drummond was not against a competency hearing, but says his office plans to present evidence to show that Ryder is in fact competent for his execution. Ryder now granted that hearing, causing a delay of at least 100 days for his execution. Time will tell if his attorneys are able to prove that he is in fact mentally incompetent for his execution. You can read more about the case on KOCO.com. We're live at the Capitol this morning. Cameron Seibert, KOCO 5 News.